Greetings, hacksters. Today we are going to talk about OpenVINO, which is uh, Intel's open source deep learning toolkit that melds classical computer vision and deep learning. It enables you to save bandwidth with high performance across a wide variety of devices with applications for retail, uh, industry and manufacturing, healthcare, transportation, and more. So let's take a look at the main page here. So OpenVINO gives you consistent API access across the CPUs, integrated graphics cards, VPUs, FPGAs, and even the Intel Neural Compute Stick 2. Just look up OpenVINO and you can find more information about what exactly the devices are that are supported. If you just hit get started, they've got a ton of really excellent documentation on here, including installation and setup guides. Here we have the OpenVINO toolkit documentation. As I mentioned, there's setup guides. These include ones for Linux, Mac OS, even Raspbian, which I'm actually uh, exploring right now, and Windows 10 and more. You're able to use C, C++, and Python. Uh, you can target whichever device you want. So these are development devices, and then you have a target device, uh, which is those ones that we mentioned earlier that are made by Intel. You can target those devices with one line of code so that it's easy to switch between those. And then you have a consistent API that talks to all of them. You can choose your device based on low power consumption or high powered graphics or whatever else you're looking for. OpenVINO includes the OpenCV library, but optimized for use with these devices. And there's also a number of open deep learning models that are included in this. So if you check out the code samples and demo applications part of the website, this is where you can really get an idea for how to flex these new muscles that you have. You've got hello classification examples, automatic speech recognition, which I think would be really interesting for use with companion robots, which is one of my pet projects. <laughs> All these demo applications, you've got inference engine samples, including automatic speech recognition, like we just talked about, hello query, query of available inference engine devices and their metrics configuration values. All these different C++ samples, creating benchmarks. There are media files available for the sample, so you don't have to create your own sets of files. And then there's these pre-trained models. You can also create your own pre-trained models, actually. So what the process is, is that you choose or generate a trained model. You can generate one with TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe, whatever you like. And then OpenVINO will optimize the model for offline utility with hardware agnostic optimizations and precision tuning. You load it into your application, and then you can use simple calls to grab the data and send it to whatever device you've chosen for inference. There's also uh, a website called techdecoded.com intel.io that includes a bunch more resources where you can learn about this and other Intel technologies. For example, I learned a lot about this from this Innovate Deep Learning Applications with OpenVINO video. <laughs> but there's a ton of other content on here. Of course, if you look at the main page, that's where you're going to find all these links to getting started, examples, code samples, documentation, a forum, those pre-trained models that we looked at, and guides to the hardware. So. I'm curious to hear what you all would use it for. We have <laughs> we have one comment that says, all right, hiya, hey, what's up? Uh, if anyone wants to chime in with what you would use it for, I actually, this is, maybe I shouldn't say this right now until it's finished, but I'm working on a companion robot that's based on OpenVINO. It's got this little eye up here that'll be able to see stuff and it's gonna sit on my shoulder. But um, more on that later. <laughs> for now, go check out the documentation and uh, let us know in the comments what you're gonna build with it. Stay cool and hack on. Mm -hmm.